um i did see i was watching um what is it called lip service mm -hmm. with angelie mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh money loan jason lee and some other guy was on there and they were talking about some i i, I don't want to get it twisted but it, the gist of it was no decent man will approach a woman when no one else is around and try to offer assistance and i'm not gonna lie to you i've never heard it broken down that way hmm. but it kind of makes sense because i'm not gonna lie to you I'm, I'm such a southern gentleman that if i see a woman struggling with anything like lifting something i'm stopping whatever i'm doing unless i got unless i got somewhere to go you know i'm stopping whatever i'm doing and I'm gonna help you out, but then I'm I'm not gonna act like I haven't noticed there's a bunch of women who act like they're uncomfortable with me when I do that. So I'm saying, do you, how do you feel about it? Do you like do you agree with her? Like you should not, you know, ever approach a woman when she's alone, like to help her out, or do you feel like you know it's over dramatic, or you know, also like, are we just in a fucked up place where women have to be scared of certain things that we're just simply trying to show a good gesture, right. but it right. comes off as a threat? I mean, so I think naturally I'm I'm going to try to approach the situation. Like you said, if, if they are in the need. Of yeah. It. But I can understand why. I think that goes back to the PTSD, honestly. It's a lot of that is happening these days. And I feel like maybe i try to put myself in that position like if i was a woman and i felt but then at the same time i don't look at women like they're weaker you know what i mean so it's understood understood but i i think for me every time i see a woman not struggling with something right especially now let me tell you something there's a certain age frame like if you're 50 and over you ain't got no choice bitch you taking this help right. but like Right. You just need it, all right? Just take it. But every time I see an older woman struggling with something, I do see my grandmother in that. And I would always want someone to stop and help my grandmother. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's not even a thing. But it's so crazy that when she broke it down like that, I was thinking like, God, some of these men are so predatory. Some of these people, I mean, when it comes to the whole sex trafficking thing, like, it's insane that you are taught to be a gentleman. Help women if you see that they are, you know, whatever. But now people are so fucked in this world that women are threatened by a simple gesture like that. And that's so fucked up. And I think us as men, I think we have to do a, a lot better at trying to protect women in general, honestly, because they should they should not feel like that. Not only I'm not even saying just like honestly, I'm not even trying to sit here and be like black women, black women, black women, but I'm saying any woman right. should be able to accept some help without feeling like you're about to attack or kidnap her ass y'all niggas are following these girls into the stores and threatening them and shooting them and doing all this crazy stuff that is making it harder for the rest of us niggas like me like the whole door is open but the women they run through the door like uh, what you want nigga what you, what you holding it for why you stop why you know what i'm saying like and that actually is going to get us to the next, you know, one of our next subjects because I did want to talk to you about culture shock because that is a part of my culture shock. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, how do y'all, how do y'all, if y'all feel any way about that, put that in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about, you know, helping women. Do you feel like you should feel bad for wanting to help a woman? And do you feel like, you know, we are responsible for the fact that women don't want us to help them? I mean, we are. It's PTSD. Niggas ain't yeah, shit. Is. Niggas ain't shit, bro. It's true. And some do it just to get something out of it, potentially. And they really be harassing these women, like, following them. That's why I'm glad with cell phones, because these girls will pull out these phones now and be like, no, nigga, uh-uh, what? Uh-uh. Uh yeah, they, they be on that shit. My motherfucking hand cramped up when I was doing that. How'd that happen? Oh, it's a 31-year-old shit. Uh-uh. How do you, friend? Um, I'll be 34 in a few months. You said in 15 minutes? No. A few months. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, when's your birthday? September 13th. So you are... Don't tell me. I won't. You are Virgo. Mm-hmm. I just guessed. I don't know nothing. Ours. Ours. I just guessed. Malaysia. Malaysia. 
Sorry, my dog is fat and she be snoring and pooting and shit. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's my legs, my dog. Hold on, say I'm from Alabama and I'ma always help unless I'm told not to. And you know what? That's that's kind of my thing too. Like I'm not gonna lie, these women was like at the pet store the other day. They were struggling to put a fucking big ass tank in the car, and I was like, "Y'all need some help?" And it's like, "No." And I got in my car, started driving, and I seen that they was about to drop the fucking glass ass tank. So I pulled up behind them and was like, "Okay, I'm helping y'all. Like it is what it is. Y'all just gonna have to y'all taking this shit. You know what I'm y'all just be out here like this." But it is definitely somewhere. Uh, it is definitely a, a upbringing kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Especially, especially, I feel like when you're raised by an older generation of people, we definitely have that more chivalrous kind of side to us because you know. I hate to say it because it sounds super cliche, but chivalry at this point really is dead. People are yeah. scared of it. That's insane. People are scared of it. That is crazy. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Women, I promise you, it, I, I'm going to be the change that I want to see in the world. You know what I'm saying? I really hope that y'all, I really hope that it's some, that is horrible to have to live with that. Yeah. You know, yeah. every time I every time like let's just say if I'm broke down on the side of the road or if some, something's going on in the back of my mind, I'm secretly hoping somebody pulls over to help me. Oh no, I still like even now, like I think of well, something happened in my car, if somebody stopped and said, Oh, do you need help? My mind is telling me, No, I'm fine because of I don't want to say no. my parents taught me that way, but No, you gonna stop and help me because let me tell you something. I'm gonna take your help, which I ain't getting in your car. I ain't getting in your car. Let me tell you something. If I'm broke down, I'm on a highway or some shit. Mm. However, you know, if I'm on a back road, might be a little different. A little different. Yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. I don't know. It just be a little like. Mm. That's why I say get you some mace. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So Van Derek said that I won't say chivalry. He said as far as chivalry goes, I won't say it's dead. It's just not as recognizable or recognized like it used to be. The generation of men is different, and I completely 100% agree with that. A person like me who's more old school, I think it's. I think it's. I think in the older generation. I think in our generation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like that I just did that to myself. That's okay. I forgot what I was about to say. All right, y'all, the lick and the weed done kicked down. Whatever. There you go. So, yeah, let us know how y'all feel about that in the comments as well. I'm about to keep doing these calls of action. They've been saying, like, do a call to action. Tell them to leave some shit in the comments. Tell them what to do. Make sure y'all subscribe. <laughs>